coral around the Hawaiian Islands is dying at an alarming rate, and marine biologists are worried about the disease and the overall state of Hawaii's reefs. KITV Force Cam Tran takes us into the deep sea to see what might be causing the outbreaks. From the surface, Kaneohe Bay looks calm and pristine. But underneath lies a destructive bacteria destroying parts of an underwater world. There's a bacteria that um, is associated with the disease, and it causes the coral tissue to lift off of the coral skeleton. And when it lifts off, that tissue dies. Maya Walton is part of the University of Hawaii Rapid Response Team tracking a disease called Montipara White Syndrome, spreading among the rice coral in the bay. Here in Kaneohe Bay, researchers found about three to 400 colonies of coral dead. To put that in perspective for you, that's roughly the size of a football field, and it takes 20 years for coral to regenerate. Marine biologist and coral expert Dr. Greta Abbey says several factors can cause coral die off. She says water runoff, overfishing, and pollution like the recent molasses spill can stress the coral environment. When that happens, it weakens the coral, making it more susceptible to disease. If you're on and under a lot of pressure or stress, that's when you get sick, isn't it? That's when you tend to get sick. That's what we're seeing now. Abby says it's important to keep the coral healthy, not just in Kaneohe Bay, but across the state. If coral around the islands disappear, the expert says you can see more of this shoreline erosion like we're seeing on the North Shore. They provide a buffer for the storms and wave energy. So if you have a, a coral reef, even if it's a small one built up in front of that shoreline, as the energy of those waves come through, it's going to hit those reefs and it's going to lose that energy. And that protects your shoreline. In order to protect those shorelines, this researcher says we need to prevent future coral die-off by increasing fishing restrictions and having protective zones. It's going to take people willing to make short-term sacrifices and voice their concerns to the government officials that are in charge and making the decisions how to spend our tax dollars. As for the disease plaguing the windward side, researchers are worried about its future. They say the runoff from the upcoming rainy season could make the die-off worse. Reporting from Kaneohe Bay, Camp Tran, KITV4 News.